So I was going through my YouTube comments and I realized it's been so long that I haven't replied to my comments because I somehow was so occupied. And then I also realized that it's been really long since I posted a Q&A video where I always ask you guys, ask me questions or doubts or queries you have and I would answer them as a video. So I decided today that uh, I should go through the comments and I went through almost like 200 to 300 comments and I decided to extract the most common questions that most of you have asked as well as most of you have emailed me so not only the questions that are there in my comments but also on my email so I have here five questions that have repetitively occurred on my comments and on my emails so here i am finally sitting and making a video on questions you've asked me the very first question that is there is why study in germany i probably have made a couple of videos already about why is it good to study in germany or why i came to germany but i still would like to then summarize or briefly answer to this question is why I would say you should study in Germany is because coming from a country like India where the currency is a huge difference like if you go to America 65 rupees is one dollar if you would go to Australia it's a huge currency difference if you would go to New Zealand it's a huge currency difference so coming from a country like India where the currency is mostly whenever you go to study abroad is a huge difference and since most of us belong to a middle class family I chose Germany accidentally or due to a reason that I did not have enough finances to support or finance myself to study in USA or UK so that's how I accidentally came to Germany but the moment I came to Germany and I had my first semester here I realized there are so many perks to studying here one the education is subsidized which means that you do not pay a huge amount of fee as uh, you would end up paying if you would study in USA or UK so it is not meaning that you don't really pay anything it's not like zero fee you still end up paying something which is called a semester fee which is roughly 250 to 270 euros a semester so six months and in this fee you get basically a student card which is also used as a kind of travel ticket so you as a student can travel in that particular city for free using public transports and you can also travel with certain specific trains called um, regional bands and s bands or intercities which are slow also for free moreover on this card that you get you also get subsidized food that is for example in my university if you would go for um, as a guest to eat then a meal would cost you roughly 380 or 4 euros where if I would go as a student it would cost me 2 euro 50s or 2 euro 60 cents so which is also like a significant amount of difference another reason of studying in Germany is that it is very flexible when it comes to education which means when you study masters you have a course of 120 credit points and it is not that you have to complete that course exactly in two years so four semesters but you can actually extend it according to how it fits you you can finish it in two and a half years or three years definitely there is an upper limit like a maximum in eight semesters you have to finish it but it's already a huge amount of flexibility when it comes to like arranging your own course and according to how it fits you and how it fits your lifestyle and if you're doing a side job then of course you want not to take full pressure on your shoulders of your studies as well as the part-time job rather you would like to be you would like to go a little bit slow and you would like to take it nicely so that you earn at the same time and you also study nicely and get a good grade another question that was asked was uh, how important it is to know german for jobs i would say significantly important and why i say this is because I've seen my colleagues, my friends who are also from India or other countries who did not know much German and colleagues who really were good in German and not like very skilled or proficient, but like good, they had 
a basic command on German language. The reason why you should know a little bit German or at least A2 or B1 is because not that without knowing German you would not get any job, but because the moment you have a skill which is this language where German is the mother tongue, you have a huge spectrum of jobs to apply to. So imagine if there are altogether 100 jobs after masters in your field, then if you know German, then if these jobs suit you, you can actually apply to all these 100 jobs. But if you are not having this proficiency of German or you are not comfortable in speaking German, then you still will have certain chunk from this 100 jobs, but it will not be enough. It will be like you cannot be picky about jobs. Then you will end up having already jobs that are filtered out. And in that, you can only have very specific jobs like backend programmer or jobs where you don't really have to deal with customers. Another reason to have German language or German proficiency for jobs is whenever you go for a job and even if it's a job where they do not require you to know German but you do know German, then within the company if it suits you after a couple of months or years you can switch your profile where from a non-German uh, profile you can switch your profile to um, a profile where you can also speak to customers so you have more flexibility when it comes to applying for jobs and at the same time when you are in a job you can actually switch your profiles another question was are there any hostels or how is the hostel system in Germany in my experience of staying for almost eight years in Germany there is no concept of hostels here the concept is more or less that there are certain buildings or apartments or a certain area where certain buildings they belong to a tiny organization that belongs to university so basically certain things or certain apartments belong to university so if you want to get into those apartments or those houses you have to contact university first and then only you can get to them but there is nothing like hostels per se uh, there is nothing that there is a huge building and it's a hostel and it belongs to university and there's a warden who's responsible for when are you waking up and there is there's like um, a canteen or common kitchen where you go and eat all in uh, at the same time or she's checking and coming to your rooms and stuff like that there is no system like this but the buildings or apartments uh, irrespective of whether they belong to university or not naturally they have people who are called housemeister like housemaster if you translate them word to word they are the people who are responsible for taking care of the building so of course it might happen that there is a guy who's coming time to time for checkups and seeing that if your room is okay or if something is broken in your room you have a contact person but there is no such thing like hostels in Germany so things are pretty much independent another question is is German required for side jobs I would again say that it's good to know a little bit of German but usually for side jobs it's not this necessary but it depends what kind of side job you are looking for for example if you are looking for a side job in a university then you most likely would not need to have any German language proficiency because in side jobs in university most of the things are basically international students oriented so most of the things would be in english like even if it's a website developer job you can easily communicate with the professor or the team or the students in english if it's a job of getting into a club maybe depending upon what exactly that club is doing maybe your german language proficiency would be helpful for example if you're going to a club where you are organizing parties and events then perhaps your german proficiency would help you get into the club or get this job but mostly it's not required when it comes to university part-time jobs but when you do other jobs which are outside university like jobs in a restaurant as a waiter or in the kitchen or in shops as salesperson or a person who is managing the stuff in the supermarket then probably German proficiency would really help you get such jobs because naturally when you are in an open environment outside university with people who are not students families kids and old people then you need 
do know German. Then the last question, which is also my favorite question, is German education really free? I know um, I get a lot of emails where people write me saying that I went to this consultancy and um, they told me that I should apply to all possible universities in Germany. In Germany, education is purely zero cost and it's purely free and stuff like that. This is not true. As I told you in the very beginning, in Germany, education fee is not there, but that is also like in Germany, there is a certain fee that you pay per semester. So if you're very lucky, then you will get a university where you just end up paying the semester fee and that's it. If you're even luckier, then you would get a scholarship where this scholarship would cover your semester fee. And if you're even luckier than that, you will get a scholarship where you don't even have to pay the fee, so it covers your fee, plus it covers your staying expenses, food, because this scholarship is actually paying you more monthly than your expenses. Education is a state government business in Germany, so every state decides for its own. So there are certain states in Germany where you have to pay a certain course fee, but depending upon what course it is and what state it is and what university it is, it may vary. So Germany is definitely giving you subsidized education, which is much cheaper and worthy education, but it definitely is not free. I hope you guys like this video and you could get some relevant information and your queries could be solved. If you have any other questions, doubts or queries, you can write me in the comment section below or you can write me an email if you have a huge query and I will take out time surely to reply. Much love.